Hi, Aquarius. Ain't that cray cray y'all got beat out? Like Pisces and Libra was not having it. They felt offended that you tried to come for their top like that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, welcome to your October love reading. I'm Princess India. If you're a new subscriber, hola, como estas? Bien, E2. <laughs> October's my favorite month, so I'm super duper excited, guys. But anywho, so the new addition to the family is the before tarot, you know what I'm saying? And because I did not want to wait to use it. Oh, and then we have a new Oracle deck, too. This one, you know? That's allegedly eerily accurate and what's not all the time. But anywho, so I'm doing the reading a tad bit different. We are going to read for my situationship people, my couples <clears throat> slash married people, and my single people, right? So everybody's going to get a rating. We're going to stop a rating. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get an overall energy for each section of you for the month of October and then we're gonna pull a past influence from the before tarot then we're gonna get a present energy from the rider weight which I call the present tarot <laughs> and then we're gonna get an advice card from the after tarot because I have a serious addiction to tarot cards and I keep buying them and I waited for that one for the longest and I wanted to use it and whatnot or whatever so whatever don't judge me but anywho Aquarius Let's jump into your reading. I feel like it's something else I wanted to tell y'all. I don't remember what it is right now, though. It'll come back to me. Spirit, let me get three cards for Aquarius, please. The first one for my... Oh, in case you don't know what a situationship is. A situationship is when you're in a relationship without a title. Because, you know, you're kind of going with the flow type of deal. Yeah. So one of those. Spirit, let me get three cards. Let me set my amethyst on the leg so I can get those good juju vibes and vibes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Spirit, let me get three cards. Y'all know I'm crazy. Let me know. Three cards for Aquarius who slayed last month. This is getting really competitive. <laughs> First card for my situation shit people. The second card is going to be for my couples and my married people. And the third card is going to be from a single people and you guys let me know what you think about this right in the comments below let me know if you like it over what i've been doing since i started youtube which was you guys energy and your cross watchers energy so i mean this is still cross watcher friendly you're just gonna get more information because you're knowing who to look for better not be looking at married people just like <laughs> Spirit, let me get three cards. The first one for my situation shit people. The second one for my couple slash married people. And the third one for my single people. I'm also doing a twin flame reading this month too. FYI. Tell the other signs. If they're not cross watching you. I forgot to say that in Pisces and um, Libra. I'm not going to take that let me get three cards here. First one for my situation ship. The second one for my couple slash married folks. And the third one for my single Aquarius people. I thank you in advance for these super dope cards that I'm about to pick. You know what I'm saying? Spirit and whatnot. Oh, whatever. This reading about to be so bomb. It's going to be on fleek. It's going to be about debt life. It's gonna be, what else do people say? Gutta, is that gutta? No, I'm gonna stop. Poor old slang. All right, Spirit, three cards, three cards only. Situationship, couple slash married people, and single people, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, we're gonna sit our couples and our singles to the side. First cards from my situationships, let go of control issues. I don't know if you heard me but it said let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. <laughs> Didn't I say something about like saying go and with the flow and whatnot or whatever? Let go of control issues. Oh, shills. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't talk right now. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. All right, spirit. Oh, not the whole deck. Let me get one card. This is the before tarot BTW. <laughs> I'm so in love with it. 
Let me get one card for my Aquarius people representing their past influence that has led them to where they are now. Please, spit it. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you, spirit. I'll flank you ahead of time because I know that, you know, all these cards I'm about to pick are just about to be the jam. But let me get one past influence for my situation, ship people. Oh, I was supposed to do something else. I forgot. I was supposed to reintroduce my soul cards this month. I'm going to do a separate reading for that. I think I'm going to do that. Oh, for you guys. I'm going to take that. For you guys, um, other reading. So, anywho, we're going to get one card from the Rider Wait for you guys. Present energy, spirit. Let me get one card for my Aquarius situationship people. One card representing the present energy now. Please spit it present energy I thank you in advance you know what I'm saying is it about the rain I'm having weird stuff going on y'all my TV came on when I was doing Libra's reading and I don't have no one around me I don't know what happened with that it's kind of creepy but this is my life <laughs> Anywho, let me get one card for the present energy for my situation ship Aquarius people, please, spirit. One card, one card only. Whoa, okay. And last but certainly not least, an advice card from the after tarot, please, spirit. This is the good old OG. <laughs> I'm mad my microphone is like way down there. We're just gonna go ahead and just pull it out for now. Just I hope you guys heard me. My mic was like way down there. Good Lord. <laughs> All right. Let me get one card for advice for my Aquarius peeps that are in a situation. You know what I'm saying? One card, one card only spirit. Clear indirect guidance, please, for my Aquarius people that are in a situation. I thank you in advance steps going forward oh sweet mother you know what three fell out we're gonna take them why not all right so past influence that we we just had this for libra is the four of wands present energy we have the seven of cups in reverse and advice going forward you guys have the queen of wands we have the five of wands which is my ceasefire card and we have the Eight of Wands. Very interesting. These are all fiery cards. So maybe y'all dealing with a little fire sign. Y'all might have a little, you know, a little Libra. Not Libra. Did I say Libra? I meant Leo. Why did I say Libra? Good Lord. Anyway, I meant Leo. <laughs> but anywho. So in you guys' past influence, I feel like when you met a person, you guys just gelled instantly. You know what I'm saying? Everything just felt like, oh, yeah. Okay. You know? I could see myself with this person. Like, I could see myself with you for the rest of my life. And then you got all up in here and it's like, oh, ha, ah, hmm, possibilities. You know what I'm saying? And then I feel like you kind of got to this place where, I said this with someone, where, I can't remember what reading I said that in. I think it was last month. But it's like when you get to the point where you feel a certain type of way about a person that you never felt before and then suddenly it's like, holy crap, you're afraid of losing them on some stuff. So then it's like you get all four pinnacles hoardy and you're like, oh, man, you know. So I feel like you guys kind of got there and then started. I don't know. I just feel like y'all just went all over the place. Y'all started thinking about all kinds of scenarios of like, I don't know. What if this person comes back? Do I really want to be with this person? Am I ready to settle down right now? And it's like, well, what if this person comes back and how are they going to feel about that? And, you know, are they seeing someone? Else? It's like you guys literally went from I meet you. I see the rest of my life with you to, oh my gosh, all of this stuff could end up happening type of deal. <laughs> but presently, I do feel like you guys are coming out of that kind of whimsical, blinded by the possibilities type of energy. And if this isn't a uh, fire sign person, it could potentially be a Sagittarius, but a Leo, a Sagittarius or an Aries person, I do see this as you guys kind of clearing your energy, standing firm, 
allowing yourself to go with the flow, you know what I mean? And staying in control of yourself as opposed to the situation. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times we try to control other people because it's a fear of a loss or, you know, the fear of <laughs> losing the ideal. But it's just the fact of you guys feeling comfortable with this person and seeing possibilities in the first place. You just don't want to be blinded by the potential. You want to really get to know the person. You don't want to be in love with the idealization of what it is that they are. You want to actually get to know them, right? So the key here is to have control over self as opposed to trying to control other people. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so the other thing that I see is here is like i call this my ceasefire card because i see it as you know in the regular five of wands it's like all the people are like juno chopping each other and stuff so this is more or less you making that decision to stand in power so it's like you're the one who put an end to this so this is the byproduct of this i feel like i did that backwards yeah this is the byproduct of this so you guys coming out of this whole thinky 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 phase it's like you're coming back down and being able to experience like the beauty of this experience with this particular person, which is a lot more easier and enjoyable. You know what I'm saying? When you're not like, you know, in a analytical space, you can actually experience the feeling of the passion and the connection and the unfolding of all of this into whatever it is that it's going to be. Right. And wham. <laughs> You guys may be traveling going forward, and that could be advice that maybe you need to take a little vacation, or that you guys should take a vacation together, or, uh, mm, okay, some of y'all, don't move too fast, okay? Don't get out of your headspace and get into your, not even feelings, but I mean, get into your inspired passion and try to move too quickly with this. So that's for a small number of people, maybe one or two. So don't, you know, get out of the headspace overthinking and be like, oh my gosh, so, you know, I'm in my passionate feelings and things of the sort. And it's like, you know, I'm just going to open up to everything and then move super duper quick. Other than that, I feel like, um, I don't know, if this person kind of distanced themselves from you because you were just doing all of that. If they distance themselves from you, I do feel like they're going to contact you. But the thing that I feel that is important to note is to not move too quickly, but to be clear on what it is that you want. And if this is an alignment of it, you know what I'm saying? Even if that's in the event of you needing to let it go, not the control issues, but I mean, if you need to let it go, it's like, because you know, sometimes you can idealize a person to a point to where you start ignoring things because you feel like oh you know that'll work itself out on its own or they'll change over time like something of those type of deals or whatever um don't don't try to do that if it's not in alignment with you and that's where i'm feeling like with this eight of wands why it's so important to kind of be clear where it is that you're trying to go even kind of what i said i think that was libra i said that with making sure that you guys are on the same page and you're going in the same direction you know what i mean yeah that's what I want to say about that. So I do feel like it's a lot of idealization that is going on, but gain control of yourself and be clear on what it is you're trying to do with this. And if it's not in alignment with you, then be okay with releasing it. Okay. Situationship people. Now this is for my coupled and my married people. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right, Aquarius. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, let me get a past influence card for my Aquarius people for the month of October. Oh, you guys are all in love and stuff, Aquarius. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one. And get a present energy for my Aquarius people, please, Spirit. Okay, and we got another one. Celebration. Yeah, I'm and let me get an advice card for my coupled and married Aquarius people for the month of October. What is going on in October? You know the energy that I have, maybe it's this whole Venus retrograde thing, but you know what the, the, I live my life through energies. Everything has like a category in the file in my head. But the energy I feel going into this October, it feels like we're going into February. I kid you not, because it's like this weird, funky, you know, cornball, lovey-dovey energy that I always feel like 
uh, rising up before the end of uh, January. And I'm like, oh, God, Valentine's Day, of course. But I feel that going into October, which is so strange because, you know, it's like a end of the harvest time type of deal. So that's interesting to feel like this rebirth of love. It may be because of the whole Venus retrograde. But anyway, past influence. You guys have the full card. Mm, shucky ducky now. Present energy. We have the three of cups. That's so exciting. So are you guys getting married? Like Libra? I think that was Libra that's getting married. Going forward, we have the chariot. Oh my gosh. Positive movement forward. Oh my gosh. This is super good Aquarius coupled people slash married people. You guys are in a relationship with someone that you truly love. In your recent past, I don't know if it was because of that, um, you know, the whole thing that I felt on the day of the equinox. I like really felt like chains were broken. It was like a whole new cycle that was beginning. So I almost feel it as if um, you guys almost turned around and looked back at your relationship with like fresh new eyes. You know what I mean? It's like a new perspective, hope for the future, um, feeling almost reunited. And presently, you guys are in a celebratory, you know, energy. No third party type of stuff. I'm really seeing it as you guys just really celebrating and being happy. So going into this, you know, um, uh, autumn time where, you know, it's going to become very centralized around family and enjoying with each other as well as with your families. And I see that, you know, you guys are pretty much on the same page. So it's like it's moving forward as a unit and rightfully so because you guys are happily freaking in love with each other. I don't have anything negative to say there. I don't even know what else to pull out of that because it's not anything negative, you know? It's almost like you guys, this um, this little cycle that recently ended for you guys, it's almost like it brought you closer together or more or less like, almost like, almost like you took your partner for granted. And I mean, you know, of course, it's general so I can go vice versa, but it's almost like you took your partner for granted and like now it's like fresh new vision i love you we're together let's celebrate enjoy this expansion moving forward and all of this good stuff and of course with this being two major arcanas you know what i'm saying you may be with a cancer person you know but or aries but either way it goes y'all i can't even if i wanted to pull more out of that i couldn't i'm sorry it's good be excited okay be excited single aquarius oh reconciliation oh shucky ducky now someone from your past is returning to your life in october hello venus retrograde wow what is this about okay spirit let me get a card about this past energy or this past person happened with this past person i want to know i want to know because i'm nosy who is this person that uh aquarius is reconciling with let me know i want to know we all want to know this is interesting i don't think i've ever pulled that card before ironically all of you guys out there who own decks i don't know if this ever happened to you but like for me it doesn't matter how long i've had a deck or how many times I've read with it or shuffled it, whatever, whatever. There's certain cards that just don't ever come up. Do y'all have that problem too? Let me know in the comments. I don't know if that's necessarily a problem. But see, there's certain cards I get, you know, all the time. But it's like when I get something like this, it's like it means so much more to me because this is a card that rarely if ever comes up. I think probably the entire time I've been on YouTube, this card has probably never come up in a reading. Real talk. I'm not even joking. All right, Spirit, let me get a card for some intel on this person from the past that is coming back into Aquarius. This is, this is life, you know what I'm saying? I'm what not all, whatever. One card, one card only. Who is this person and what are their intentions with my Aquarius? I mean, this dude, he... Walking up on you and stuff, ain't got no shirt on and stuff, girl. Lord, have mercy. One card, spirit. Give us deets on this person. Give us the details. Whoa. 
Didn't y'all do this to me? <laughs> In the, oh, there we go. I'm about to talk about y'all. I know you lying. It may be a cancer ex from it. Look, girl, he is getting in the car. You understand me? <laughs> this might be a cancer ex. He is getting in the car, okay? He's coming. He's coming. What is up with that haircut, though, dude? Like, he just... Look, just look at him. He like, yeah, I'm about to go to her house right quick. I'm just going to show up at the doorstep. I hope he don't just show up at your doorstep. Okay, <laughs> spirit. What are their intentions? What's the intentions of this person? So this may be a cancer person from your past. Or if not, it's a person who, um, it's a person who, um, ooh. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we have the Emperor in reverse. I don't like the Emperor in reverse. Okay, hold on. Anyway, let me finish my train of thought. Sweet baby Jesus. Okay, so I wanted to say that this is a person who may have spent some time away from you getting balanced. You know what I'm saying? You know, because in the chariot, this is before Tarot, of course, so he's getting into the chariot, right? In the uh, Rider Waite, which is what deck this is from, which is the present tarot, as I make it up and call it. But it's just him in the chariot, but he's not moving, right? So the whole key is here is like finding this balance and needing forces to be working in alignment in order to move forward. Otherwise, it's like he's sitting and preparing himself and plotting out what the next step is going to be, right? And the after tarot, it's him having tuned into himself and manifesting the balance within and thus uh, manifesting it without, right? Now, I say all of that to say to put into context like where this person is. So my thing is, in the past, you would want to think, okay, yeah, they're getting balanced or they're getting into alignment, but it's like they're just starting that journey. You know what I'm saying? Even though they're coming towards you as the freaking emperor reverse. So if this is a person from your past that is either a cancer person or an Aries person and they had issues with, you know, domineering control and things of the sort, a little misogyny going on, you know what I'm saying? Um, presently, they're still there, you know? And this is Venus retrograde, so it very well could be people that are coming back. But the people that do come back are the people that you're thinking about past tense. It's for a purpose because it's for you to get very clear on what it is that you want. Because I kind of get the sense that this is somebody like past tense, past tense. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so it's to be cognizant to see it, that they're not different than before, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't fall for the okie doke because the whole uh, Venus retrograde thing is going to put everybody in a lovey dovey haze and a person coming back will very well look like this while Venus is in retrograde. Like, it's going to be like, you know, oh my gosh, they're back together. Oh my gosh. I always wanted a situation like that. Oh my God. And then it's like when Venus goes direct, then, you know, this going to be looking like the devil card on some stuff. So just be careful with that. So anyway, Spirit, what advice do you have for my single Aquarius people? What advice do you have for them moving forward or how to handle this person from their past coming back that is the Emperor Reverse on some stuff? So give us an advice card, please, Spirit. An advice card for my single... I was about to say Aries. For my single Aquarius people, please, Spirit. Give us an advice card. Please, spit it. I think it's super dope that um, all of my readings have been averaging like 25 minutes. And I've been reading for like three different people. Well, not three different people, but three different groups of people. I feel like I'm doing good on time. You guys let me know. Let me know if y'all dig this. Spirit, let me get one card of advice for my single Aquarius people. Dealing with this person that's an emperor verse that's getting in their chariot to come show up at their dough stuff on some stuff. I hope there's not no stalker stuff. Oh my God. 
Spirit, let me get one card of advice for my Aquarius people, please. Spirit, clear and direct guidance of what they need to do going forward in reference to this Emperor reverse person, please, Spirit. Clear and direct guidance. Clear and direct guidance, Spirit. BTW. Homeboy might come back singing Cisco. That's what I hear in my head right now. Talking about without you, girl, I'm really complete. E -e -e -e. Oh, yeah. Say, without you, girl, I'm Sorry. This is not my fault. It's because a card has not popped up yet. Anything in this world that'll make a woman. You want me to stop singing and tell Spirit to make the card pop up? I can't make believe I have everything, but I can't believe it. Wait, pretend that I don't see. And without you, girl, my life is. I'm imagining like a dude out in the rain. I don't think anyone does that anymore. Say, really, dog? All right, Spirit, we got to just pick a card. One advice card for my Aquarius people, please, Spirit. What do they need to do in reference to this Emperor Reverse? Thank you. Oh, sweet mother. How many cards is this? Three. Mm, mm, mm. We have the Emperor. Did I say the Emperor? I meant the Hermit. How did I Let me get my life together? We have the Ten of Cups and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So whatever it is that you guys are doing presently, and I'm seeing this, of course, with our major arcana, our cups and our pentacles, I'm seeing the thing that's imperative for you guys and how to handle this is what it is that you guys have learned on your personal development journey, the truths that you've received and shining the light on this person and seeing how much they line up with what it is that you guys have been surmising. Oh, surmising. Okay. I was about to say, did I just say suffice? Surmising. What it is you guys have been surmising, because I get the vibe that you've been focused on self and tune with self and figuring out what it is that you want or how it is that you guys want your life to look like. So this may be one of those little dark distractions. I forgot who it was. Was that Libra? I think that was Libra who had a similar situation. It's like a person from the past that's coming in that's taking them off track from their path of personal development. So if you guys have been on this journey of finding your truth and seeking your true path and kind of in this solitary place, this person coming in is more or less like a dark distraction, but it's, I like I don't like using the word test, but it's like, um, it's like an approved test that you studied for. Like everything that you learned up to this point you know what I'm saying? We'll prepare you for this because there's a valuable lesson to kind of top off this transformation you guys have gone through in this uh, particular, like closing out this particular relationship. So it's like, if this is someone that you were tied to karmically, that karmic tie is severed, but it's like almost that closure wrap up, like, yeah, legit, I'm shining a light on this dude and this is exactly why it is. I ain't deal with him. <laughs> I'm being real. <laughs> what I just heard is he's still driving his mama car. Just showed up at my house in his mama car. <laughs> it's like this dude still ain't. He still ain't got no job. You know. So yeah. But for you guys, it's like you're in a place of contentment presently. So it's like. You're cool with where you are right now in life, but you're still putting in the effort because this is ideally where you see yourself. You guys do want a family. You do want a committed relationship. And if you guys left this person behind because they didn't want to give you that, I feel it's imperative you guys stay on your journey, going after what it is that you want, getting more clear on yourself, building your self-awareness, working towards what it is that you guys truly desire which is the freaking ten of cups you know what i'm saying so don't allow this dark distraction to take you guys off track is what princess is saying so anywho last but not least we're gonna use our little spirit guides oracle deck and allegedly i think i told you guys this in the beginning i can't remember i've been doing a lot of readings <laughs> but um this deck is eerily accurate i've been told 
So it's like if you pull this after you've done a reading. Oh my gosh, what happened? Oh my gosh. So if you pull these after you do a reading, allegedly they're always like dead on. So you guys let me know in the comments if this was really dead on. You know? I like the way that they feel because they feel like cardboard on some stuff. Like it's like a very antique look and feel to them. You know what I'm saying? So Spirit, let me get three cards for my Aquarius people. The first one for my situationship people. The second one for my couples and married people. The third for my single people, Spirit. Please give them clear, indirect guidance going forward through October. And this is, of course, for, it's like a personal message for you guys to apply to your life. And um, I would even suggest, if this card really does resonate with you, I would even Google, um, like, whatever the animal is. Like, go into Google, put the animal name in, like, totem. Or, you know, the animal name in meaning or symboli symbology or symbolism. And um, let this be, like, you know, your little spirit guide for the rest of the month. Kind of meditate on that. So, spirit, let me get clear and direct guidance from my Aquarius people. First one from my situation ships. Second one for my couples slash married people. Third for my single people, please. Spirit, clear and direct guidance for my Aquarius. I'm flanking my arms. Amen. All right, first card is my situationship people. Second is my couples and married people. My third is my single people. So my situationship people, you know what I'm saying. Without you, girl. You guys are zebra. And it says, let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times, which is why you can relinquish your control issues. Just saying, situationship person and from a couples and married people. Are y'all married to Pisces? I mean, Libras, they had this. I said, she's like a little sassy girl. She got a little stuff tooted up. She's like, rah, rah, rah. okay, sorry. My New Orleans came out. Snow Leopard. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. So, yeah, I kind of did get that vibe that you, but were you guys the little spiritual business people? I don't know. I don't know if you, I can't remember. Y'all, I've been reading so much. I have no idea. I can't remember if it was you guys or if that was Libra that I'm talking about. But I know Libra got this card. So if you're dealing with a Libra, that makes sense. But it's just imperative that you guys kind of take time out. Because I do feel this vibe that this is like a new cycle for you guys. Because it's almost like a renewal that has happened. And I don't know what that's in reference to. If you're, you know, willing to share, share it in the comments below. But I feel like it's like a new cycle has kind of turned over for my married and my couple people. And I feel like now with this new energy in order for you guys to kind of solidify it and, um, you know, kind of represent yourselves to the world as a united front, it would be good to kind of take some time in solitude. So maybe y'all need to do a little vacation or something. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, single people. Honeybee. Yay. Makes me think of Oshun. Let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. So maybe it is a little bit of closure that's going on, single people. Um, and I said, like, you, like, with this being, like, if this person is coming back for you guys to close out this cycle, don't forget about where you guys are and where you have been. And if you do have a little bit of animosity towards this person... It's like, you know, cover the situation in love and in compassion and allow yourself to like release it. Or even if they just need to forgive to you for them to feel peace, for them to move forward in their life. Just be, you know, open. Allow it to be an experience that you learn from. You know what I'm saying? Let it make you better, not bitter, babe. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Aquarius, that has been your October love reading. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you guys like this way or do you like the old way? Let your girl know. I love your face. Deuces.